Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel again and hello to my new subscribers. Today I am here with a very important tutorial how to do animation in Photoshop. And I am going to create more tutorials related to animation so you can check the description box for the tutorial links. Then let's start the video. But before that, please quickly subscribe my channel and hit the bell button too. I really want to make this channel working so I want you all to stay connected with me. So this is my animation and I am going to create this animation with these images but I am also creating different type of animation tutorials so you can check the description box. So first of all go to the window and click on the timeline option and you will get your timeline panel. Now here is your create window timeline option. Just click on it and now your animation option is enabled. You can change the size of the timeline panel and the timeline from here. If you have so many keyframes and layers, it will be helpful. First of all, set your animation scene or background before anything. If you do this later, then you have to adjust your timeline panel again and again. I will show you an example later on. So this is my setup. I put an image in the background and I put my second image on the top of all the layers and give them some drop shadow effect. Now I am going to give some motion to this cone and cup ice cream and these two black eyeballs. To give animation to these two black eyeballs, I created three parts of this image. First, I will copy these two black eyeballs to the other different layers like this then i will convert this whole portion in total white and copy on other layers and in the last i will erase this whole portion inside of the eyes First I will place my white eye layers, then black eyeball layers, then this face without eyes. Now convert your background image into background layer otherwise it will show in timeline panel it's better if you have less layers in the timeline panel you can work more easily you can convert your layer into background layer from here go to layer new background from layer but it's not necessary to do so first of all convert those layers to smart object which you want to apply animation I have already converted these four layers into smart object 
it's really necessary i tell you why when you go to in timeline panel and click on any layer you will see three option position opacity and style you have to convert position into transform otherwise you won't be able to animation create animation properly i have already convert these layers into smart object so first i will select this eyeball make the first part of 1 second or 30 frames 0 to 30 then i move this frame handle on 0 and i will click on this icon and create a keyframe now i will move this frame handle on 29 and click on this icon to create second keyframe you can move your frame handle on these keyframes by clicking on the back and next button now i will move this eyeball to the left side according to me now i will select my second eyeball and do the same thing now i will repeat this process and move the eyeball on right side now i will select my cone ice cream and make the first path on 0 to 30th frame and create the keyframe on 0 and 29 now i will move the ice cream right to left 
on the second frame now i will select my cup ice cream make the first path on 38 31 to 60 and create the key frames on 30 and 59 38 and 59 and move the cup ice cream left to right on the second key frame you can also duplicate the layers and move them forward to increase the length of the video now i'm going to decrease the size of the other layers because i only need 2 second video Now it's time to save your file. To save your file as a video, go here on the icon render video or go here you can find the same option here. Fill the name of your animation. Select the folder where you want to save your file. all the settings according to me is fine now click on render if you want to save your file as a gif go to file export save as web all the settings are fine in looping option i choose forever save i will choose html an image and save So this is the video and the gif file of my animation. So this is the end of the video and I will attach the link of other animation tutorials in the description box. I also edit the subtitles to understand my video more easily. If you have any question you can ask me in the comment box. I will try as soon as possible. so subscribe my channel hit the bell button give me good comments and likes stay healthy stay tuned see you again bye